Hey YouTube, what's going on? I want to talk to you guys about something right quick um, that a lot of guys have been skipping over. A lot of people have been misunderstanding. A lot of people have not been paying attention to when it comes to your hair and those are different things like stress levels. Stress levels are very, very, very important to what you guys have going on. Stress levels are... Uh, one of those perpendicular things that if you go against the grain, if you go against what your hair is doing or you go against what the body is doing or pretty much there's a mental anxiety, there's a mental aspect of different things that are happening into your life, that can affect the outward performance of your body. So a lot of people have the stress levels, anxiety, depression, all of the above. Or you're getting hairstyles like locking and natural hairstyles that are pretty much working against the grain of what your hair naturally does and you're not understanding the design of what's happening. So it's causing you guys to have uh, different effects this what's happening and it's one of the effects that's what's going on is either dryness or either you're having breakage or you're having just a number of things that are just causing you guys to lose in your aspect of natural hairstyle like natural hair growth locking all of the above so I want to talk to you about that right quick because if you pretty much understand how the body works, if you understand how the body is pretty much producing what it does, when it does, and what it's going to produce, and the purpose of what's happening, you pretty much have already got yourself on a, a healthy regimen from day one. Like, for instance, when you guys are locking, a lot of people are telling you guys, don't work out, don't live your life, don't do what you do, don't do this, don't do that, you can't shampoo here, you can't do this, and all these limitations pretty much have gave you a stress level and anxiety level because it just taken you out your normal grain, it has taken you off your, your natural way of life, and so already right now you're limited, which is so not true. I need you to shampoo, I need you to work out, I need you to be yourself, I need you to stay within your comfort zone so that going forward with all of the things that you need in your hair, all of the things that you want for your hair, all the places and the value that your hair is going to require, you can still put them there with a level of balance and understanding. That's going to get you started first. So if you were working out before and you're doing a hairstyle now that says you can li you have to limit your hair, you're working out a little bit, I say maybe step off the game as far as timing, but as far as everything else, go forward, work out, do what you have to do, and still be able to understand that there's the balance of shampoo and conditioning and hydrating with oils and moisturization levels that you can still implement going forward. The phenomenon of limitation at this point for natural hair styling and then you're stepping into other stuff like putting food and pre preservatives and all the other stuff to the scalp is not really working for you. It's actually breaking down the hair and causing you to have other issues. So I want to take this time out to really help you understand that a lot of the things that you guys have been doing as the processor, as the stylist, as the... the um, the person that's implementing your services have pretty much been the issue of why you guys have been limited to what you've been doing. So this, let's start here. Let's say also a person has locks, a mature locks, and you want to start styling your locks and do everything like, like just having updos and everything on a professional level. You're limiting yourself at this point because you've been using gels, souffles, different things that did not allow the scalp to breathe. You use different things that cause follicular damage or sebaceous gland damage that in the scalp did not naturally secrete the natural oils that it would do on a normal basis, as well as you not hydrating to do certain things on a natural basis. That also caused an issue for you. So you listen to that person that pretty much limited that mindset and, and that position in your life, and then that also caused a problem for you also going forward. So pretty much I say let's go back to the basics. Let's go back to the drawing board and understand what these things are doing, how these things are doing it, and when these things have been doing it for and in your life so that you can then have a healthy start in whatever you are trying to do. Now, my main thing with working with hair is um, locking and natural hair phases like braiding, twist outs, um, straightening, all of the above. And whenever I do what I do with my clientele, I always implement, you know, a healthy fact of letting them know what we're working with first, how we're working with it, and what it's going to do. So this client that I'm going to show you in the next few seconds is, is a client that she's stressing herself out. She has a lot going on. She has a lot on her plate. She doesn't take the time for herself as well as she's been using unhealthy products. Now, all of this whole balance, this whole connection, and this whole contradiction of things have taken her hair out of this form. Now, as you can see in the video, 
it has not stopped her hair from growing, which means her body is still working. Her body is still producing and giving her what's necessary. But on the aspect of hair styling and, and uh, generating the outcomes that you're looking for, she's losing because the hair is breaking at the same time of her trying to put certain things in it and get certain things from it. She's a teacher as well as a, a, a caregiver, as well as a lover of life, a lover of people. And all of this is just adding on stress to her body in which in so many ways, a lot of us has taken on many, many stress levels and many, many levels of anxiety and worry and all of the above. That has killed your body from the inside out and that is harming her. So what I wanted to teach her and talk to her about was how to give back to yourself, how to understand what you need for your hair and how to give yourself and your hair a vacation. It might not be a physical vacation to where you go out and you step across many oceans or you out in Barbados or you're out in Jamaica doing many things, but at the same time, you are taking the time to give your body a rest, a heal, and all of the above. That's why I'm sitting here looking like I just finished chemotherapy because I didn't give myself a break. I didn't give myself time to heal. I didn't give myself time to understand what was going on. And as time went on, my body began to reflect that so I had to take the time to step back and understand since I want these things for my hair and my body I have to do a B and C so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how her hair has been affected by the mindset of what she's been doing and then after that fact we're gonna go back into it and talk about different ways we can repair these things different ways that we can get her on the right track and get her in a good place so one let's get started by showing you who she is what she is and I just let you hear a diagram of where she's been in her life as far as hairstyling and then after that fact I want to talk to you guys about different ways to repair it because a lot of you guys are just jumping the broom on reparations or repairing different things when it comes to your hair and that's not healthy either so there's a different trans uh, transition to all of the above and those things that I want to talk to you about and help you about this day going forward so as you've been seeing a lot of the other videos were funny and they had a lot of different you know techniques as far as talking to the clients different things like that I want to change that I want to talk to you guys now and let's make all of our hair a healthy situation and beneficial for everybody different hair textures different outcomes natural relaxed or whatever the case may be for all the viewers that are ever watching I want to help you get to that place of balance with your body and your hair so tell me baby um, How long have you been growing? Oh, you don't even want to know. Like I do. Ten years or forever. Ten years. Then I cut them real short. Then I uh -huh. let them grow back, which I shouldn't have never cut them. Mm -hmm. But I cut them, mm -hmm. and then I kind of been playing around with them. They were looking good for a little while. And mm -hmm. I think I started washing them too much and just messing with them too much. And okay. And what then were you I using? Then, uh. A little bit of everything, anything. <laughs> Just the truth, I ain't okay. mad. I ain't mad. Just Depending on how my birthday. money was. Hey, know? I understand. Okay, okay, okay. What was the last thing you remember using? Uh, that Cantu. And then it's that I am or am I something. I am. Yeah, okay. that. Uh, okay. I'm asking you a few questions. You send me from right or wrong. Okay. I can tell you're coloring. Yes. Okay. I can tell. Um, the porosity has changed, a dramatic, like your hair probably used to be thick and full. Uh -huh. And now it's changing. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Um, with your locks that you've had for a long period of time, this has always been a stress area for you. Okay. It seems like back here was perfect. Mm -hmm. Back here, even through the damage, even through everything they went through, uh -huh. it still grew out, it still gave you life. Okay. It was up here that had the most issue. Yes. So I'm trying to figure out what happened right here. So I'm going to start with this question. When's your birthday? October the 6th. Libra. Yes. Oh, I see why you're so stressed. Why? Because you're so busy working for everybody else. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you are, shut you're up. so busy. They, but they need you. Yeah. They need you, and you wouldn't be the awesome Miss Brenda you are today if you wasn't that girl. All so right. that's fine. We, we can understand that. Now, being that we know that you work or we you work hard for everybody else, and you're a people pleaser, we got to give you some time. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not bad. That's, that's good. good. Yes, we got to give you some time. Okay. It is, it's your turn to get that blessing that you've been blessing everybody else with. Okay. It's your turn to get that vacation, that understanding, and all of that, all of the above, all that freedom and all that you give everybody mm -hmm. else. It's your turn. How you feel? I feel good. 
Amen. 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 All right, that's what I'm talking about. So let's start here. Let's start with a deep condition. Okay. Because even though you, even though your hair has been through hell and high water, hell. you have not. You don't have a bald spot. Okay. Good. If you had a bald spot, that would say you had a major issue and the hair could possibly not grow back. Okay. You don't have a bald spot, so we can grow that hair back. Okay. We can start moisturizing what you do have. Mm -hmm. I'm not a trimmer or a cutter, so I ain't cutting nothing. Okay. Today we're gonna do our best to just give it a cosmetic look to make it beautiful, make you feel good, make okay. you feel great about it. And we'll start from there. Now, has anybody else put their hands in your head? No, just me. Just you. Because I'm about to say, girl, I will, I will go outside to my car <laughs> and get my nine. If somebody lets you sit in their chair and let you walk out the door like this, like mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it. And I'm not just going to throw an extension on it. Okay. I don't, I don't say we do that either. Okay. Because you have some healthy hair. Okay. And you have hair that's able to withhold a lot and go through a lot and deal with a lot. And you have hair that is pretty much invincible like it even through all of this it said I'm not going no yeah. damn way. Okay. Now what happened here? It just break well, out. Yeah, it just broke. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's, it's not a bad. I, I see why your twist is kind of popped oh, okay. a little bit too, because you heavy handed. You gonna have to lighten up. You so strong. Okay. But that's good. That's good. What did you do for a living? I'm a counselor. You a counselor? Oh. Counselor. Just got a degree. Uh, I deal with mental health. Hey, man. Yeah. Do you with... ever stop working? Actually, you just I do. You just as bad as I am, yeah. actually. Uh, yeah, I am. That's why I know. Yeah, That's so like we gonna have to do something because see my bow spots are right here. <laughs> okay. Like seriously, you see, I'm, I'm let me fix them back because I don't need nobody seeing nothing <laughs> to do with them spots. But I got them too, and okay. that's why my hair is this short because when I cut it off, going through all that I'm going through, the counseling, the understanding, the helping people, the taking on personal energies, mm -hmm. trying to be that great exhaust pipe to give back great energy, but you have to take out the negative first, and all yeah. of that is it's so much wear and tear. Oh your body. yeah, it's yes. so much. But at times. We have to get back to ourselves so that we can understand what's going on with ourselves too. That's true, thank you. Valuable yeah. lesson that I had to learn wow. here recently. But um, I, I have nothing negative to say about it. Okay. Because I've seen worse. Okay. This 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 is nothing. And people will be like, oh my God, I can't believe she, I can't believe they. But you don't know that you're screwed until you're screwed sometimes. Yeah. And you don't seem like a hair person. You don't seem like you went to cosmetology school no. and failed or whatever. You just tried many things that so many people was telling you and it just didn't work for yeah. you. And that's fine. That's totally fine. We could definitely fix that. We could definitely come to some type of understanding. Is there anything you would want me to do specifically? Well, I noticed how you did on YouTube, like if it was small and what, because what I was trying to do is when they be small, sometimes pull them together. No. No? And the reason I say no, okay, because check this out. If I take this one and I take this one and I put it together, yeah. this is now a huge part right here in this area. Exactly. Yes, it fixes the foundation instantly, mm -hmm. but it's still a huge part. Yeah. Now, if I take the time and actually fix the entire foundation and give them all new base for their locks, mm -hmm. then you still have a head full and you don't have those big pieces, those unmatched parts okay. all going through the head. Okay. Yes, it takes a little more time, okay. a little more patience, okay. but in the outcome, I think that you'll be a lot happier. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I can do that. So somebody already put extensions on these? No, you know what? I had wrapped it around with some stuff. I was yeah. trying to get it off. It didn't what, it. what kind of color are you using? Uh, black uh, Revlon. Let's switch to begin. Okay. B I G E N. That's a powder base that you just add water to. Okay. It's no chemical. Okay. You know, I've tried that a long time ago. Yeah, and it's, it's going to help because it's a cover. It doesn't go in and, and attach the hair to, to pull anything from it to put color into it. Mm -hmm. It just covers the hair. Okay. So that's not as harmful okay. as um, a color with a developer and a processing system. Okay. But we can fix yes. it like that. Yeah. Also, when you go home today, I'm going to want you to take some oil with you to make sure that you moisturize the scalp twice a day. Okay. I mean, twice a week. If not, if needed, a little bit more maybe. Okay. Um, working out, any type of resistance to the body? No. That's no. right now. Because okay. of my back. What about water? Drinking water? Yes. Yes, I love water. This, decent amount? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Decent diet? No, bad diet right now. Bad diet? Do better, yeah. Hey, I can't talk. You see that? Uh, uh, nice and I got the food on the way, so mm -hmm. God is so good. Mm -hmm. But I can't talk about food. I love food. Okay, mm. me too, as you can tell. Bye, girl. I'm not going <laughs> 2016, ain't nobody looking hungry okay, no more. Okay, okay. Okay, what else do I see other than just breakage and just... Dehydration has been your biggest issue. Not dehydration to the body, just to the hair. Okay. 
Now, you got some of these parts, I can tell either somebody merged them or whatever. Did you want them? What size were you going for? Uh, I, 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 it don't matter. At this point, you don't yeah, even care. You just want yeah. a decent food. Yeah, I just want that. Yeah, exactly. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Just wanted to be happy. Because that's what happened. It was real thin before. So I kind of loosened it up and made it small, which I shouldn't have never did that. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have just never did. You should live it by itself. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You live and you learn. Yeah. You live and you learn. You live and you learn. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's see this back real quick. So how long you been doing here? This makes my 13th year. Okay. I got straight out of high school, went straight into, how you think I am? Mmm, I don't know, 28, 30? I'll be 32 this year. Okay. Yeah. So, yep, I went straight into it. My family's very progressive in the um, hairstyling industry, although I'm the only one that's doing natural hair and locking, and I'm the only one that learned the body to go along with hair. Okay. You know why I'm sleeping this thing, bro? And you been doing I've been getting my rest since the, my girl told me I couldn't fly. I was like, well shit, I'm just going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go all, I can't go hard like I've been going. I'm going to bed. Good night. Okay. See y'all later. Okay, well, so let's go ahead and retwist this. You got, did you understand the shampoo and deep conditioning process that you got before? Uh-uh. Now we did three diff two different shampoos with three different processes. First okay. two shampoos were your clarifying shampoo. Okay. They went in that cleaned you up. Make sure there was no dirt, no grit, no grime, no dead skin, no nothing in the scalp. Okay. After that, we went into with a moisture retention shampoo, which is going to start restoring moisturization to the hair. Okay. That shampoo is very important because that first shampoo robs you of everything. Okay. Okay. So now that we get the hair used to understanding that it needs to be clean and moisturized at the same time, mm -hmm. we then go into protein and giving the hair strength and moisturization. Okay. So that the hair can withhold everything that we're going to do going forward. Being that hairstyling is a very risky factor. Okay. Okay. So then after that, then we can start twisting. We can start doing a whole lot of other things. Now, right now, because your hair is in so much shock, it's scared of me. <laughs> and I don't want it to be afraid, so I'm doing everything lightly. Okay. So it, with um, the next few visits that you do see me, we're going to do things lightly and we'll just start transitioning into things that, that are going to get the scalp and the hair back full and just okay. get it back to its natural self. Okay. I'm going to tell you this, some of your parts I'm going to break down because okay. they're going to be too big for, for okay. what I want you to have. Okay. Okay. That's fine. My ultimate goal is a full head of hair. Yes. Um, just making sure that you get exactly what you need when you need it and how you want it. Okay. And you know, looking in the mirror as a woman, that you're extremely satisfied. Oh yeah. That gorgeous. Appreciate that. Yes, I appreciate that. I know. I was watching you and I was watching a lot of different people. I said, Oh yeah, I gotta go to him. I Googled you boy, I was finding you. I said, I'm going to him. Okay, where he is. And then you was in Houston, I was like, Okay. okay. People think I'm all like, <laughs> people think I am in like New York and okay. Afghanistan. You could be. I I could be, but yeah. now I'm still right here with Jesus. Okay. Um any questions for me? No, I'm good. I appreciate it. No, that's it? You what? trust me? Yes, yes. I, I, I pay. I've watched you over and over and over and over. I've seen you do hair. I've okay. seen you work with your clients. I've seen pretty much everything you I do. I love my people. Yeah, I appreciate it. Really, really and that's what I need. I need somebody that love doing hair, love yeah. the people they work with. So that's why I'm here. Okay. Because well. I, I don't think everybody's in it. Nah, they you know, not. They, you know. not. And that's I'm learning that now. And you know that's why I, I'm gonna explain this to you. That's why I was cursing so much in in all the beginning videos because when I first started, like it always have came from my heart. Mm -hmm. I don't care how I sounded. I don't care what I said, mm -hmm. what I looked like. It always was a beneficial factor of me wanting my people to look fantastic. Yes. Especially in something that people was like, ugh, I know she stink. I know she don't wash her hair. So I worked my ass off to try to figure out what does work for us versus what doesn't. Yeah. Okay, now that you guys are aware of your situation, you are aware of your thinning, your breakage, all of the limitations that we talked about in the beginning of the video, and all the stress levels of the, of the body, all the anxiety levels, and the, how the our performance of the body has been affected at this point by the different thought patterns, by the different understandings, and all of the above that goes along with your theory of your natural hairstyling, your locking techniques, and everything that's gonna go into your new natural lifestyle we can get into now the repairing part of it because a lot of people feel like if you do instant gratification repairing that that's going to do a lot of justice what that does is just give a, a cosmetic flair to the situation in which your client now feels oh, okay I, out of sight out of mind the situation is gone well 
the mindset is still there that they got your client and that person or yourself in that situation. So if the mindset is still there, please know that that's still going to happen going forward because you didn't change your outlook and your perception of the program or the process in which you were taking on. So now we need to change the mindset out of instant gratification mode and understand that let's healthily rejuvenate that hair by changing product systems, by changing regimens and doing different things of that sort. So if you have a dry, thinning, breaking situation, super moisturizing is what's gonna help you rebuild and refill that area. So that's one thing you wanna know first, having a good level of shampoo and conditioners with proteins and different things in them to start rebuilding that different section in the hair, whether it's edges, whether it's the middle section, whatever the case may be, just to get that process going in a healthy manner. After that, if you wanna start with the instant gratification, at that point, I can say it's a little more healthier. You can then start doing the lock extension method in which you would just elongate pretty much the broken areas to give them a cosmetic look. And as the new hair grows out, then it would just mesh into the lock extension because you still want to use a human hair base. Now, understand that just because it's a human hair base, that hair does not have porosity. That hair is not human and it did not grow out your scalp. You just stopped by McDonald's drive-through, picked you up a double cheeseburger, and that was your situation. So basically, you got your hair done right away your way, but it ain't the way your scalp way would have it. So don't be trying to dye and color this hair. Don't try to do all type of things with this hair because it did not come out of your scalp and it does not have the same protons and ions and everything that's gonna go into the fibristic values of your hair. It's a processed human-based hair. That's the honest point about it, okay? After that, once you implement that, you're gonna do your braid and start your wrapping technique to get the hair put onto the base or you're just gonna grow the hair out to where you start having a healthy retwist. But all of this is still going to take time. Nothing is going to happen overnight. <laughs> Nothing is going to just jump out and, and just do what you think it should do immediately. It's going to take a little bit of time first. Then you'll get to that place of happiness that you're looking for with your hair and your hair will start looking good again. So like I was explaining to my assistant earlier that was telling me her boyfriend had got fat, ugly, and his teeth had started falling out. It comes a time in your transformation that you go through ruin. If Once you get through that cycle of ruin, then you can get to the next phase, which you can start rejuvenating things, fixing things, and rebuilding things. But you got to go through the ruin factor first, or you wouldn't need to be in transformation at all. So once we get that done, and we can put the teeth back in the baby mouth, and we can put the baby on a treadmill, then life will change, and all would be well. So go through your 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 regimens go through your process and give it some time because nothing is going to happen overnight so relax with the stress relax on the limitations and live your life understand that you can still be free and do the things that you want to do because it's still hair it's going to do its natural job it is your job to be its teammate it is your job to work with it versus against it and every level of hairstyling is a possibility of risk. So once you make that risk a little more balanced, then your outcomes are way more beneficial and you don't start losing edges. You don't start th uh, thinning in the, in the ball, in the crown area. You don't start thinning in the nape area or having bald spots or anything of that sort. The body is stress-free, the mind is relaxed and it is understanding what the process and the design of hair is. It is here to protect not only for vanity. So once you get that put in the mind and you understand what it's all about, then your outcomes will be fantastic. Everything that you're looking for your hair to offer and to give you in life, it will do just that. Now, on the other hand, for you folks that was born with Cotton George hair, but you looking to look Puerto Rican and everything else, that's another video for you. And that's, we gonna call that video, you need to quit because you're lying and nothing you put in your hair gonna make you look Puerto Rican and wet and wavy you just gonna look like a wet Brillo pad that I just finished washing my dishes with and that's just what it's gonna be so embrace your hair understand what your hair is going to do and, and, and love your curl pattern for what it is you can't wake up and change it it's there it's yours you can either work with it or work against it. They have many texturizing and texture stylings that you can do at this point. And I don't mean texturizer as far as the chemical, texturizing as in the style technique that you can offer in different ways 
to get those outlooks that you're looking for and know that they're only going to be temporary they're only going to last you a few days because what the healthier your hair the more it's going to revert back to its natural self it is not going to stay in that format or that formula forever using spritz and heavy holding gels and different things like that are not going to get you in that place that's going to take the hair right back to another level of transformation through ruin through all of the above because you just robbed the porosity of that hair or did all of the above by trying to rush and jump into something that your hair was not ready for so for all of you guys that have a lot of issues with your hair this is the understanding we got to go back to the drawing board and start over and understand that hair needs a certain amount of things since you're going to use it as a styling tool and once you get on the other side of that health barrier you will see why the chicken crossed the road it was more food on the other side it was healthier and the sun was shining bright so go to the bright side and have healthy hair.